Mm-hmm. Um, being there for you is a very tricky uh, concept because mm-hmm. being there for someone doesn't always mean that they're a yes person or that they're necessarily saying that what you did or what you think is right. Mental Health Monday. 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 Accomplished and to all these things. And I feel people are missing the point. So I feel like this is a great discussion topic right here. Yeah, for sure. I think that people have to give other people more grace, Mm -hmm. right? And we have to really get to someone's intentions. Now, obviously somebody who rapes someone, and Mm -hmm. this is just an example. It's not like I work with rapists all day, all the time. I got you. But somebody who rapes somebody, that's a really bad thing. And that's something that no one should ever do to anybody. That's obvious. I'm more here. It's an easy line across. Lines across a mm-hmm. ring. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah one hundred percent. Yeah, especially with like kink culture and mm-hmm. like, there's just so many ways that something can be um, seen as one way to one person mm-hmm. and seen as another to another, right? And that's yeah. not, of course, ever excusing anyone who rapes. Like mm-hmm. that's terrible. But I can see how a line can be blurred. Mm-hmm. Um, but I say all that to say, I'm not here to tell anyone that what they did was good or bad or their choice was right or wrong. I'm here to figure out what's going on for you mm-hmm. that made you make that choice. Yeah. Right. And hopefully if we get to the root of the thing, we can stop you from making choices that are not helpful for your life or helpful to the people that you come in contact with. Mm-hmm. That's really more my job. Mm-hmm. I'm never here. I have plenty of people who do things that and not even as se- severe and terrible yeah. as rape, but just in yeah. general in their day to day that I would never do. But that doesn't mean that mm-hmm. it's bad for them. Yeah. That's your lifestyle. Do your thing. Go off. Yeah. But is it helpful mm-hmm. for you? Is it helpful for your peers? Is it helpful for your community? Are you having a hard conversation before these decisions are made also? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, so the reason I bring that up is there's actually an interview that's probably going to come out a couple of weeks before we drop this interview, because mm-hmm. yours is probably going to come out in October. The goal is to have a therapist on each episode, not each episode, on the platform once a month. So you're October. Yes. <laughs> <Love> that. <laughs> to answer your question from earlier. And he told me about his assault stories. Mm -hmm. Um, He had two assault stories. He's someone who manages ADHD and he was assaulted by one man, one woman. But the stories were different in terms of one person got him really drunk Mm. and it was the girl and it was on her birthday and it was like a whole plot and there was betrayal, disappointment. And I remember him telling me about the rape is bad. Of course. I'm not comparing which part of the story was worse, but there was one particular moment where the deed had happened and he he called his girlfriend to let her know what had happened. And Mm. she said to him, you betrayed me. You did this to me. And he's like, but I'm calling you to let you know I was raped. And she was like, men can't be raped. Mm. And I was just like, and This story happened to him back in 2013, 2014, if I'm not mistaken, right? Mm -hmm. So he's gone to therapy for, but you go into therapy for things, I tell a lot of folks, that doesn't change the feeling. That changes the way it's digested in your perspective and how you're handling it. Mm -hmm. But what has happened has happened. Right. Right. And then for the guy, they uh, were at a party together and he's like, hey, you should do this drug. And he was like, all right, cool. But the guy didn't let him know what the drug would do to him. Mm. He took advantage of him in that moment. And I was just like, oh my gosh. Like, it's not surprising to me that these things are so easy, but it's very disappointing when you hear these stories. And I always question, how did the people around you react? Mm -hmm. Because I'm very big on, unfortunately, life is going to happen to you and it's not always going to be positive. But what does matter is the people who are around you that you trust, that you believe in, how did they handle your moment with you? Sure. Yeah. Were they there for you or are they just there because you're convenient and the relationship happens to work? And what does being there for you mean, right? Mm-hmm. Because sometimes being there for someone can quite literally be doing the thing that doesn't yeah. feel good, right? Mm-hmm. For example, hospitalizing a loved one mm-hmm. or calling the police on a loved one when you're feeling unsafe and feeling like somebody needs protection of some sort from their self or from someone else. Mm -hmm. Um, Being there for you is a very tricky uh, 
uh, concept because mm -hmm. being there for someone doesn't always mean that they're a yes person or that they're necessarily saying that what you did or what you think is right. Mm -hmm. no, I fully agree. And I've for the last two years been advocating that people do need to sit down and have the conversations of what does being there for me look like, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to folks who have suffered from a manic episode or mm -hmm. had moments like that. I tell folks, hey, you need to have a certain language that people know how to talk to you when things happen. They need to know what your triggers are and what to avoid when they talk to you about something. Right. They need to understand when you lose it, you're going to lose it. You're not going to keep track. Right. Mm -hmm. But sometimes there are words that brings you back that says, Oh, I might be losing it right now. Yeah, and, um, oh, this is like what we do in safety yeah. planning. Okay, tell me, tell me prevention. about, tell me about safety yeah, planning. Yeah, so safety planning is something that I recommend anybody who has suicidal ideation do mm -hmm. when you're feeling well, right? Not when you're in the crisis, but when you're out of it. Mm -hmm. And you ask them, what are the things that would be helpful when you feel that way? What okay. are the things that we can pinpoint or identify for? Mm, maybe this is not going well or you're not doing well or you're nearing a crisis state situation. Mm -hmm. um, so everything that you're saying is absolutely true. You know, yeah. you have to know what actually feels supportive mm -hmm. to you and you have to know what is helpful for, for you. And that's a lot of work that's done in therapy is actually learning yourself and figuring yourself out. Because a lot of the things that happen to us that we perceive are as negative may not even necessarily be negative, but they just might not feel like what you need in that moment. Mm -hmm. Tell me where this comes from. I feel like you have like, did you learn that in school or after you graduated, you said, oh, we need to start doing these things. Um, so it, safety planning is kind of like protocol, mm -hmm. you know, even from the case management level. I love that but role in the it, <laughs> <laughs> You say it's kind of, but just saying. Mm -hmm. Right. But um, I definitely believe that it's helpful and needed like yeah. a lot. And most of what I've learned, I will be honest with you. I've learned post-grad, like just from mm -hmm. actually doing the work, being on the front line, seeing what people are going through and what they're bringing to me as problems. And I'm like, oh, so you people said that last week, you know, mm -hmm. or something similar. So this is a general theme. That's how my groups came about. Yeah. Because I was like, I'm not about to keep talking to all y'all about the same stuff. We don't come together. I sometimes <laughs> wonder how much of these things that happen because I do recognize the same thing are influenced by social media or mm. is it influenced about by what's going on and what like the community is observing as a problem right now. Yeah, no, for sure. And just I think that the climate that we are in at this time is just very toxic in general relationships. Mm -hmm. Not all, of course, but like the example that you used of the guy calling his friend to say he's raped. I can hear the girl right now. Mm -hmm. Like, have you heard that Kevin Hart like put the pigeon on the phone? <laughs> 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 Nobody's believing that. You yeah. talk about some that was the most in her mind, the most extreme mm -hmm. lie yeah. that you could have come up with even though not a lie very serious thing happened to him mm -hmm. but who's believing that you know yeah. because we don't believe things like that in this day and age yeah. in this culture she said it herself men don't get raped and now it's i feel like we're doing a lot of catching up and in our catching up we're making mistakes of we have less forgiveness because we're all on the same page and every day i see examples of us all not being on the same page at all mm -hmm. like we think we're reading the same book, but someone's on page two and someone's on page 98. Mm -hmm. And those pages are digested and implemented differently also. Exactly. So like when it comes to the work that you do, when I see that you're doing group therapy, I think that's inspirational in a sense, because like managing a group and having words with a whole group and keeping track of who has what going on mm -hmm. is not easy. Right. Very Especially true. when that group is learning to trust each other, mm -hmm. which I think that's a very major component. So yes, how do you probably facilitate? Probably the most important part to me. Okay. And, and I make that very clear. We have a little spiel in the beginning, mm -hmm. like we're here to trust each other and to share openly and not be super judgmental of each other. And hopefully the goal is if they can do that in that environment, they can take what they've done there mm -hmm. into the community. 